All right, class. Today we are going to talk about the War of 1812. Mr. Morocco, why are we going to talk about something that happened over 200 years ago? Because Rodney, 1812 is the year that the United States declared victory against the British. Oh, cool. All right, class. Let's go ahead. Opened up your books to chapter 5, page 46. We are going to talk about how the War of 1812 started. At the outset of the 19th century, Great Britain was locked in a long and bitter conflict with Napoleon Bonaparte's friends. In the year 1807, Britain had passed the Orders in Council, which required the neutral countries to obtain a license from its authorities before trading with France or the French colonies. Hey Rodney. What's up? Oh, hello Sheila. I didn't expect to see you outside my class. Well, I was just out here, and I needed to get my textbook. Oh, I see. Besides your classroom is right next to mine. I see you almost every day. But you're in the 10th grade. I'm only in 9th. Don't be silly Rodney. I've taken you around the school before the fall. It's okay. Right. So what's up? Well, your basketball team has a big game tonight and I'm not doing anything else. I'm all excited about coming to your game this evening. Wow, Sheila. I have to say, I'm very delighted to have you come. I know I'm going to come. And I know you'll do great tonight. You're going to kick butt. You always do your best. Huh, Sheila. You don't have to be that supportive in all that. But I want to Rodney. I want to make sure your team wins tonight. You'll win for sure tonight, right? Uh, I guess. Oh, come on, Rodney. I know your team is going to win tonight. Sheila, are you like... asking me out on a date? What else? Wow! Okay, I guess I'll see you at the game. You're darn right. I will see you at the game tonight. Okay. Well, I guess I'll see you later. Rodney Clearwater, where have you been? I'm sorry, Mr. Morocco. But I had to go to the bathroom. Why didn't you take a hall pass with you? I... Oh gosh. It's a long story. I need to talk to you after school. But I have basketball practice then. Can't it wait until after? I'm sorry, Rodney, but you know the rules. And I'm afraid you're going to have to miss basketball practice. Ah, bummer. Mr. Morocco, I don't understand why I have detention. Well, Rodney, you snuck out of class without a hall pass, and you were gone for 20 minutes. I'm sorry, Mr. Morocco, but I needed to go to the bathroom really bad. Did you do anything else besides that? Oh, all right. I was out in the hallway talking to some girls. That explains why you were out of my classroom for this long. Mr. Morocco, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you mad. You're darn right. You're sorry. You know why? Because you'll be going to be in my class, after school, for the next two weeks. Two weeks? My parents are going to kill me. I'm going to miss the basketball game tonight. Well, Rodney, you should have thought about that before leaving my classroom today. Yes, sir. Rodney Earl Clearwater, I am very disappointed in you. You're 15 years old, and I get a phone call from your school saying that you got detention for sneaking out of class? I'm sorry, Dad. But there were two girls out in the hallway that wanted to come to my game tonight. That doesn't give you the excuse to sneak out of class like that. You know better than that. Yes, Dad, I know. Go to your room, Rodney. You will be grounded for the next two weeks. I should have known better than to sneak out of class like that. Especially without a hall pass. Now, I have been suspended from my basketball team for a whole month. I can't play my video games. I can't hang out with my friends. Or watch TV for two weeks straight. Plus I can't leave the house after school each day. The only time that I can leave the house is during school. On top of that, I get a list of chores I have to do on the weekend. I'm not a big fan of chores. But I will do whatever it takes to get my dad's trust back, as well as Mr. Morocco's trust back too. Hey Rodney, 
I'm really sorry that I got you in trouble today. I didn't realize you left the classroom without a hall pass. I also got detention for staying out in the hallway too long talking to you and my best friend. My parents grounded me for two weeks too. So I am unable to go to the basketball game tonight too. But I'll still see you around the hallways before class. You have a good night. Sheila